Some guys work really well off cues. Some guys have one thought. Some guys have pre, pre sort of like pre-shot routine thoughts. For me, I feel more likely getting in more of a sort of like an athletic posture or stance, getting into the ball sets me up for a lot of good things before I even swing. And, you know, fortunately, that's not something I need to worry about while I'm swinging. It's sort of like getting set before. That's probably been my swing thought, I'd say, for, for a bit of time. Keep it very simple, very connected and around me. And when I get quick, a lot of things go wrong. Swing and let it go. Xander Shoffley. Softly spoken, but a bona fide stud. The X-Man is a player for all seasons. His game has no real weaknesses, and it is highlighted by his prolific ball striking. His silky golf swing, one of my favorites for the record, delivers a penetrating and reliable ball flight, which ensures that when the stakes are the highest, he is likely to be a part of the reckoning. That is a oh. really efficient golf swing right there. Oh, this is just hammered. Oh yes, that is tasty. When he gets that back turned and completes that backswing, he can flush it. Shuffley is five foot 10, weighs about 175 pounds, and can deliver the club at 120 miles an hour. He creates speed easily, gracefully. So let's dive into how he does it. At address, he's pretty typical here. You can see how he plugs into the legs. I love the fact here if we drop just a plumb line down from on the triceps, how it clips the knees and works into the balls of the feet. That to me is the body's balance line and Xander, who rotates as much and as cleanly as anybody, does so over that line. Now, as we start him away, there's no real frills off the golf ball. You can see how the club raises up, swings over his hands, beautiful there. He just turns around that angle, and up at the top there, the club face is a little strong. It's pointing to the sky. You can see that lead wrist is just a little bowed. That's all prototypical of the modern PGA Tour player. But I want to add some movement into this to show what he does so very beautifully. He does it in the forearms and the wrists and the hips. But first, let's go to the tip of the spear, how the hands work. So we're going to reverse him into the backswing some and just watch how those hands change direction. Watch the alignment of the shaft. See how it points to the target, then shallows off. One more time. See where the shaft is pointing there? Now watch how the wrist just redirect and shallow that club shaft. I'm going to put some lines in there so we can see. So right over there, watch where the club shaft is pointing. We take him a little farther. Watch how the club shaft is pointing toward the target. Now he shallows that off. He's setting that up to basically deliver a drawing swing path. So beautiful action there in the shallowing of the golf club as he's really worked the forearms and the wrists as efficiently as anybody in the game. Now let's work and look at how the hips and the legs work. We take him to the top of the swing. See where the hips are pointing towards us? See the flexion in the knees. Now watch how this area, the middle, will rotate, the knees will soften, and they will turn out of the way. So as the wrist shallow the club, watch how the lower body lowers, opens up, and basically guides the action. Look at that over there. One more time. Watch how the knees remain soft, he turns open, and look at that right there. He's got the hips looking at the target already, yet he's still got this golf club in behind him over here. Imagine the javelin thrower now, with the lower body opening up, and the javelin throwing arm is still loaded. Imagine this right arm right here, and the golf club. That's the javelin throwing arm right there, but the body is leading the action. We take Xander to contact. Watch this, how open the hips are. Look at this right elbow. It is still folded. See that right wrist has some flexion in it too. It's still bent. It's now about to release the elbow, the wrist will straighten, and that club just slingshots all the way to the follow through. So between the shallowing of the wrists, the shallowing of the shaft, the action of the legs and the hips, this is so athletic, so energetic, so dynamic. It's no surprise that Xander can swing the club at 120 miles an hour without breaking a sweat. And he can send it out there. 
Oh, it lands on the down slope. That gets catapulted mm -hmm. down all the way. That is down on the front porch right there. Cutting towards the center of the fairway. Beautiful looking tee shot. Yeah, he's got all control of his game as well. Scrambling to get up and down when he has to, driving it long and straight. Here is Xander with the driver in the hand, setting up to hit a powerful baby fade from left to right. The angle of the camera has it looking like the ball's way forward in his stance. Ordinarily, he has the ball sort of just inside of the instep of the foot. And I love this here, how the hands look just a little bit behind the club head. That's going to allow a situation where he strikes the ball on the upward portion of the golf swing. Now, I talked about the dynamics, how graceful the swing is, how he creates easy club head speed through contact. Well, let's see how he does that. And bearing in mind again, the image of the javelin thrower in mid action. So away from the ball, Xander just gently bumps off to his right hand side. The body begins to rotate. See, he's almost like reaching away from him. Look at the big wide arc in the arms and the club head. Now, as we get to the top, watch this. I'm gonna highlight the area you will see the lower half, the hips, begin to rotate open while the club head here just stalls for a mid-second. So watch, we're gonna to toggle that area first off. Watch how the hips go, just a touch. You see that club head is just dangling almost in the air. And as we move him to a situation where the club is above his head, I want you to see how open that core is. In fact, look at the differential between where the core is looking and where the chest is looking. That is massive torque. Now consider that the club head is still above his head, so it has all of this journey to travel. Watch too how free-flowing the arms look. It's almost like everything is powered out of this body and the club just slingshots around its arc en route to the golf ball. See, it's almost like he's given up control of the arms, the pivot, the rotation, that disassociation of lower body and upper body, they provide the impetus to just sling this club around him. It's like that javelin thrower whose body leads, the arms follow, and then he just lets the javelin go. Well, Xander has just let another 300 yard drive go with the greatest of ease. And this one on a very nice nine. Look how straight that is. From my point, it looked super straight. Boy, he's swinging the club well. I mean, this is just gorgeous once again. Huge bounce. That is go time from there. 153 positioned nicely. And a nice little draw shot into this. See if he's got the right distance. He does. Boy, Let's how go impressive has he been this week? Here at the third shot, Xander Shoffley. Downhill. Whoa, what a shot. Over two, Xander looking right at it. Oh, that's a great shot. See, that's how you do it. You gotta throw it past there and stay aggressive. Here is Xander Shoffley with an iron in his hand. Now, I want you to remember the dynamics, the free-flowing nature of this golf swing and the image of the javelin thrower throwing his javelin. First off, here at address, I love the natural, uncompromised look that he has. Features slightly flared, and very importantly here, the knees right over the insteps of the feet and underneath the hips. That's a good base from which to play because that's his power source. Beautiful grip, very fundamental. Now as Xander begins away, I want you to see and basically think of the fact that there's not one element that's dominating another as he swings back. See the clubs extended from him, there's a late hinging of the elbows and the wrist, and nothing really forced going back. There at the top, you can already see how the hips are leading the action as the golf swing was finishing. But now on the way down, I want to explain some physics to you and how with this action he has, he really creates a lot of speed for minimal efforts. Look how the low body unloads. See how that eye line drops backward. Look at where the eyes are looking right here as he lines up the club perfectly down his left side. Now, as we do that, I want to toggle in there again and show you where that eye line staying back 
how that will slow down the chest a little bit, and that's going to create a slingshot effect for the arms to pass the body by. So if we move him back just a frame or two, watch the eye line's gonna be back. That's gonna slow the chest down, and as the chest slows down, that element slows and then it slings energy to the arms. Watch that right arm. See how it almost hyperextends? Let's do that again. You'll see the eye line look backward. You'll see the chest slow down. Now watch that bent arm, how it goes into straight. It goes from bent to straight, but Xander is not trying to do that. It's because his lower body is turned out the way. That's the power source. Then the chest is not heaving open. It's just there in support. It's a little slower because of the eye line and that just transmits all of the energy from the body through the arms into the golf club and eventually the golf ball. And that is why with this free flowing balanced follow through, he can just project so much energy into the golf ball, not breaking a sweat. It's glorious to behold and Xander Shoffley, it's why he just hits the ball so squarely, so solidly every single time. Asked for a pep talk a few holes ago and it hadn't been working. He needs a birdie birdie to make the cut. Oh, oh that'll help. What? Slam dunk on MJ's birthday. Xander Shoffley at the 12th, three off the lead. Putting it in position is so important so you can hit shots like that, control the ball. It is time to press the gas pedal, Frank. Been hitting his irons beautiful all week, and this is another one. Oh, right at it. Here is one of my favorite angles to look at a golf swing, because from this angle, you can see how the body opens up through contact, and you can also see how the hands and the arms perform after contact. So Xander with a scoring club, a wedge in hand. It's on a short par three over in Scotland. So as we swing him back, once again, there's not too much manipulation. Body just transfers away from the ball, gentle wind up, big extension of the arms, the late folding. Now we're gonna bring him down really slowly to contact. And I want you to watch how the lower body disassociates from the upper body. Look how the lower body's opening up, the chest is remaining closed. The chest eventually opens up, see that? And the arms present right in front of him. Look at this here, how beautifully that lower half is turned out, yet the chest is just barely turned. As we look into that further, look how the arms are right back in front of the chest, and look at how the hands are just gently leading that club face. Once again, that eye line in behind where the golf ball was. Now remember that chain reaction we talked about with the medium iron? Watch here how the arms will extend because everything is slowed in the upper body. And so as the arms extend, watch how they go through that extension now. Then eventually the chest picks up the slack and carries them through to the shorter follow through because he's flattening that wedge. Just a beautiful action from Xander Shoffley. The sky is the limit for this man. This golf swing is immaculate and I expect him to be a factor in many events for many years to come. Xander Shoffley, third shot, might go, yes! How's that for some short game? That from 107, with a lob wedge. That's making it happen? Wow, are you kidding me? Good look at what these leaders are gonna face today with this front right hole location. Very difficult to get close, but hey, you just pitch it in, that's how it's done. For Xander Shoffley, is second at 18 now. Nearly. Wow. Not many people are going to be able to take it at this back right flag. It is dangerously close to the water here. Shoffley right at it. Go in. Go in. Swaps the spot. Xander's done.